searching for Yamato. <laughs> it's OP04, Kingdoms of Intrigue. The kingdoms have become increasingly intriguing as we travel through the wonderful world of One Piece. Oh, this video brought to you by Kaizoku Cards. Really cute dawn set. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste too much. Just go to kaizokucards.com. That's why this video is here. Is because Kaizoku Cards is our sponsor. Is me. I'm my own best. I'm my own sponsor. So uh, I'm gonna strip him some packs and talk to you today about why I think. It's nice to be nice, basically. Um, there's this guy, Isaac Newton. Uh, you may have heard of him. He, did, he came up with some laws for physics, which is a, a great science. I'm a huge fan, it's a bless him. But um, Newton, from the story goes, that this man had an apple that fell on his head. And when the apple fell on his head, he got this idea and realized gravity. I think I think that's how the story goes. Apple falls from tree, lands to Newton's head, and Yamato. Gravity is discovered. I'm always looking for Yamatos. I'm definitely trying to summon as many Yamatos as possible. I've only pulled one altar, and I definitely need to have four. So, you know I'm going to be searching for Yamato! <laughs> this is what being nice does. When you're nice... When you're nice, this is how the world works. All right, here's my theory. I think this evidence suggests that maybe there's some accuracy to it, but that's wild, actually. <laughs> uh, so basically, there's these other laws, and one of them is that everything that exerts a force has an equal and opposite force exerted back on it. And what, what the, why that's important, or what that means, is that like when you push on something, right? When I push on my hand on a table, there's a force coming back from that table at my hand in the same direction as my hand pushing on that table. It's what keeps my hand out of the table or not passing through it. Um, and I think this like law kind of it can be expanded as our BB Dawn to things in life, right? Like the force you exert from yourself on the world. You're kind of pushing out on the, oh, what's the, oh, oh, law. Please be law, please be law, please be law. Oh, wait, no. Diamante. And there should be a secret rare in here also, so we'll find that secret rare. But you exhort a force out on the world, right? By being who you are, you know, your disposition, the way that you treat people, you know, if you rewind the videotapes before you return the VHS to the video store, that kind of stuff. And uh, I think in life, when you're nice and you're kind, and you know you you don't make other people's existences more inconvenient or whatever and you just kind of i don't know like make the, try to make the world a better place in some way maybe and and not just for personal gain but for a sense of community and bettering people and helping i think that energy usually comes back at you right because you're pushing out and then something's going to push back and you know i don't i don't think the universe has the same kind of perspective or perception and experience that we do as living beings inside of it but there's definitely some laws that can be explained by mathematics among other things that sort of explain how things work and this seems to be one that has a broader application than just being nice or being mean or whatever i still haven't pulled a single dopey art i don't think I'm opening the Blossom. I think the Super Rare is not in here. That's a Croc. And I am sick of getting Croc alt arts, I'll say that. But if I put that energy out there, maybe it's going to come back and bite me in the VV. Just like that. There's our VV. All right, so there's our things from that box. I'm going to open one more box. But that's kind of like the theory here that I have. And it seems to have served me pretty well in life. I think when you believe in something and you give it the credit to make it real, there's a greater chance that it will become a reality. And I think if you, you know, put what you want to get out into the, the world, not, not for the purpose of you getting it, but for the purpose of, you know, just to, I don't know, not being a dick, basically. It's like, be nice. And sometimes nice things happen. And if they don't, it's not because you weren't nice, but you know, bad things happen to everybody. That's kind of how the perspective of something being good exists. If you don't have anything bad ever happen, then how do you know if anything's actually ever even really good? But, uh, but yeah, you know, like take Luffy, for example, Luffy stands up for his friends, bless him. 
and his friends are there for him when he needs them and that's the kind of energy that he puts out and that's the kind of energy that he receives i do want to open another luffy alt art but and i'm gonna need two more yamatos luffy no it's like that it's like that i wouldn't say sometimes i'd say it's like that frequently with frequency and i do feel i feel like i have a very very close energetic relationship with this game because you know, I put a lot of energy into manifesting that this game would come into existence. You may have seen me dress up like a Dragon Ball uh, on my when I was doing Dragon Ball, like dress up like a pirate and do Dragon Ball videos. Like I was really hoping for a One Piece card game, and I really only played did Dragon Ball videos for like a year before a One Piece card game came out. So you know, I do feel that I played a hand in the manifestation of this game, and that it, it you know I don't take responsibility for it, but I didn't not help make it happen if that right you know what i mean like I, I put that stuff out there and i identified as a pirate and i dressed myself as a pirate and i did pirate things and in hopes that a pirate game would come out and lo and behold a pirate game came out not only did a pirate game come out but kaizoku cards my pirate company of pirating cards from a pirate story is also a pirate endeavor that's come from this whole pirate journey and if there's one thing i've been putting out into the world since i was a very small man it's that I'm a pirate. I identify with pirates, and I plan to talk a little bit more about that in a different video. But um, I think, you know, the life of the pirate life is what I like better than the marine life in One Piece, and it's what I aspire for. So I think putting that vibe out there, wait, nothing so far in this box. All right, this is probably going to be a leader card and one of the, like, alt art, whatever. I'm hoping for law. I'm hoping that it's law. It would be really cool if it was law. But I think that's what's going to be in this box. I don't think there's a secret rare in this box. I think it's an alt art leader, which Boa. I knew it. I knew this was one of those boxes, and I'm happy to get Boa. Even though I already have one, I'm glad to get this card. All right, so there's going to be an alt art leader in here, that means. And the alt art leader that I want is Dofi at this point. I'm pretty sure Dofi's the only alt art leader that I don't have. So let's just make this a Dofi. If this could just be a Dofi alt art leader, this is not it. If this could just be Do Don Quixote, Doflamingo, well, he's not a really nice guy, which would make sense for him to show up in the video that's not about uh, nice people. This is it, This is it's in this one. So I'm doing the whole thing where you go card by card. Isn't this how they're supposed to do it on YouTube channels? They show you everything. And then they say, here's the Dofi car. That's not Dofi. I got crocked. But that is my second croc. And I do I do like this leader. I think it's very cool. So I have no problem with pulling this card. Thank you. Thank you, box. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the that's the shrimpum. That's my story. I, I hope you guys are, you know, aligned with that in some way or vibe with what I'm saying. Cause I think it does just kind of make the world a little more fun when you have fun. And if you're nice people, sometimes it's easier to have fun. So thanks for coming by and I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh, I am a dentist. I ain't can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be don't wait to go to the dentist until your teeth are in pain. Dentistry is a preventative medicine. We want to prevent the problems. So if you go in and get regular checkups, a lot of time we can catch those problems before they become problems. So come and check that out. Wait, hang on. Is there is there anything else in here? I don't think I think it's only you just get the one yeah, you just get that one card and the and then there's no more. There are three more packs here, but I'm stripping them anyway. I don't think this stuff's gonna be worth anything sealed. Uh, a couple SRs, big deal, and two more packs. But yeah, I'm pretty sure if you get the, if you get the, um, the art, the the alt art, whatever, then like in the box, you're you're not gonna get a second alt art. But that well, that was pretty good to open those. Those are all SRs. All right, thanks for checking out. See you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.